Once the sequence has been trimmed and manually corrected, the sequence needs to be blasted to determine if the sequence is representative of the gene you intended to analyze. In this case, we intend to analyze human actinin-3. This can be done in one of two ways. Select the entire sequence, copy, and paste into the NCBI nucleotide blast. Using all of the default parameters, hit the blast button at the bottom of the window. Alternatively, some programs have a feature to allow you to blast directly from the software. Once the results are returned, scroll down to the list of hits. The top hits are from human actinin-3. The top hit covers the entire length of the input sequence and matches 99% of the base calls. From this, we can be pretty confident that we've sequenced the correct gene. Now it's time to determine the genotype of our sample. Use the find feature to type in the reference sequence for the SNP of interest. In the case of actinin-3, we are looking for the base downstream of GGCTGAC. Zooming into this region, we can see that the downstream base has two overlapping colored line traces. The quality bar in this location indicates low quality. However, we can simply interpret this as a heterozygous locus containing two calls of equal strength. This individual received a C from one parent and a T from the other. Using the IUPAC nucleotide codes, we will call this a Y, meaning a C or a T, and save the file. In order to confirm this data, we will repeat the process with the reverse read. Return to the sequencing files and open the reverse read for the same sample. One important step is to reverse and complement this sequence. In four peaks, this is the flip function. This will reorient the reverse read so that it is read in the conventional five prime to three prime direction. Now that the sequence has been reformatted, trim the ends, Correct any miscalled bases, 
blast the sequence, and locate the SNP. We see the same result in the reverse read as we did with the forward read, heterozygous at this SNP location. This process does not provide any additional information in terms of genotype, but simply confirms the information determined by the forward read and is an example of best practices when analyzing sequence data. The reverse read also serves as a backup in case the forward reaction does not sequence properly.